In my last tutorial, I showed you guys how I create time lapses, how I do the post production in time lapses. Here's the time lapse that we created, but it had one issue. You can see where that bird is. He's right there. He's there, 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 and there. So he's in five different shots. You can barely see him because it's so small. But let's get rid of this guy, okay? The quickest, easiest way to do that is duplicate the layer that you've got here in your comp. Select it, Command C, Command V. Boom, it's duplicated. Select the top layer and control or right click on that and go to blending mode and lighten, okay? Now we're almost there. I'm gonna zoom in just by hitting the plus sign here to this frame that we're on. We're gonna just move this over, left or right, doesn't matter, one frame. And you'll see that bird disappear. So that bird is gone. And we can kind of cruise through here by holding command and doing your left and right arrows. I'm gonna hit O and go to my out point. And I'm just gonna make sure that is my official out point. And I'm gonna go I to in point. And I'm actually gonna bring it in just a few more frames. Because I don't want the whole, I don't want that whole thing. And I'm going to set that as my endpoint. And there you go. That's all you have to do. And now we'll render that out. Okay, that finished rendering. Let's go to the desktop here and we'll take a look at it. So there you go. That is one quick way to get rid of birds. And it doesn't work for everything. I had a squirrel run through one of my shots and I applied that effect. It got rid of most of the squirrel, but not all of it. Part of its tail was still in the shot, so it doesn't always work for everything. It works really well for birds, but not for people, not for squirrels. They have to be moving quite a bit quicker. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps out a lot. I will be creating more and more of these tutorials as I go through my own footage. Also, expect some product reviews. In the near future, I'll be doing a product review of the Sony a7S II, the Edelkrone Slider Plus, and some of my other gear, like my backpack and everything, and how I get these things organized when I go out for these shoots. Please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and you can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook and also Twitter.